Today, these people take the lie detector love test. Now, who's telling the truth? Who's a love rat? Who wants out? Well, today, all's revealed. Well, today, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the... Truth! Yep, that's what today's guests are after. They want to know whether their loved ones are lying, so they're making them sit our lie detector love test. Well, first, remember Philip and Mandy? Is there a specific point when you think Mandy started cheating? Well, well, in Greece it was. So we went to Greece and, What did you uh, think was going on in Greece? I didn't mind, you know, everyone flirts, we Greek men and all good-looking and whatever, and, you know, but that didn't bother me so much, but it... It's when we came home then, it was. Why? What, what happened then? Well, sh like a carpet man. You should share your actions. He was a kid. He wasn't a kid. He was, he was a up, kid. He picking a big carpet up. He man. was a kid, Phil. I told you he was a kid. <sighs> yes, Philip was convinced she was sleeping with other men, including the carpet fitter. Now, Mandy said on the last show that she hadn't cheated. Well, Philip still wasn't convinced, so today <coughs> they're back for Mandy to take a lie detector test. But first, let's welcome Philip back. <laughs> Oh, you've already moved the chair closer right. to, to where Mandy's going to sit. Yeah. Um, now, on the last show, <coughs> you accused her of sleeping with the carpet man. Yeah. We paid for you to have four weeks of counselling, and did it improve anything? No, no. Not at all? Not for a minute? Well, it made me feel a bit better, you know, but uh, she was on about coming up for the test. It's like when we have a drink, we go out together and we have a couple of drinks, and it's all, you know, flared so up So when again. you have a couple of drinks is when it all happens? Yeah. OK, well, let me just go through a couple of things. What if, and I do not know what the results of the lie detector tests are deliberately, yeah. but let me just put a couple of scenarios. <coughs> what if um, they prove she had been cheating? Then what? No, it's over. It's, a, it's over. You got, and you've been together for how long? Two and a half years, but I've known her for 20 years. You know? And we you met back. her when she was much younger? You yeah. got separated, you got back yeah. together, but you pull the plug if she cheated? Yeah, I pull the plug, yeah, definitely. What happens if she hasn't been cheating then? Well, they go... A lot of making up to do, haven't I? OK, well, let's meet her again. Please welcome back Mandy. Some people are obviously thinking stuff the lie detector test. In their eyes, you've already cheated. Now, you still maintain you haven't? No. What happened after the last show? We heard, did anything improve after all those weeks of counselling? It did a bit, but we, he's just keeping on. He wanted to know if anything happened down when I stayed mm. down his mate's flat. He wanted to know, mm. and it's just arguing all the time it is. But like, if I've done anything, I wouldn't be going for this lie detector test. We'll do you see. feel? We'll see. What, what do you mean we'll, well see? Well, we'll just know. But the the, let me just say to you, how do you feel about being brought back here for a lie detector test? I want him to know the truth that I haven't done anything. But does part of you make uh, is part of you angry or yeah. hurt? It hurts. It's upsetting that we've had to come this far. We've got to prove it to him. That okay. I done so I, again, I don't know the results. But what if, when, as you say, you're, you're proved you're innocent? Then what? What will he have to do? Apologise. Like you said, make will it up to me. Will an apology be enough? How will he make it up to you? That's up to him. This has been going on for how long? Have you been accusing her of this? Two and a half years. Yes. What are you going to say? Uh, do you trust her in the long run? Do you trust her now? Do you, do no, you think it'll come out positive? I don't know. I'm a bit confused at the moment. But bit, uh, Thank you. A bit confused at the moment. We can see on the screen there, this is when uh, Mandy had her lie detector test, and I'll go through some of the questions that you wanted asked in a moment. I really think that you're quite lucky that she's still with you, because... You wouldn't um, put up with that? No, not at all. You Why? know, you've... you've you're in a relationship and you've yeah. already said that you don't trust her. Yeah, we sorted it out to me. That's what we had up Yeah, You wouldn't come up yeah, there and sort it out, It's you? sort of like you're saying, oh, well, if the lie detector test says that she's, she's not telling a lie, then that's OK. But trust, you know, trust should be there from the start. So you shouldn't even be... Yeah. Um, so, can you remember a time when Philip ever trusted you at all, Mandy? In the beginning, when we started going out in the beginning. He did trust me. How but long did this in the beginning last? How long? I think when we started, when we went come back from Greece. 
And why? What triggered it off in Greece? Because he reckoned I was looking at other fellas out in Greece, and I was eyeing them. It's up. all head games she plays with me, Trish. It's the just game? head games. Like what? Eyeing up guys. Well, and just winding me up and just. I actually don't know. saying but things. But if I do something, whew, she's down my throat then, you know. Oh, if you I do something. You look at girls as well. Well, play the game, innit? You, you see. It I played the game. The two of us, we've been, you know, when we went to counselling. Yeah. We we spoke to the counsellor and we admitted it to both of us. We have been playing head games. You both came clean. You both were yeah. playing games. Yeah, so maybe they've got a bit out of hand. Yeah. Let me come to Robert Phipps. Stand up, Phipps. See our body language expert. Here he is. Okay. <laughs> what what we want to go through is the body language here. Um, when he first came out, Philip actually dragged the other chair. Managed yeah. to close immediately. So you want the relationship to continue, but there's this one question at the back of your mind that's nagging you. What is it about that answer? That is going to change the future. Trust her. Eh? So you don't trust her now? Not at the moment, no. It's because of that night that is you stopped out on the night. I don't know what happened, and it's just niggling in the back of my mind, like you said. And yeah, from the body language, if you put a mirror between the two of them as they first came on, they were identical. So yes, there is still the relationship. They're bringing the chair together. Yeah. But if you look, uh, you've crossed your leg away from him, and every time. He's answering questions. You're looking at him. Yeah, yeah. So it's the resentment. It's, yeah, there is a lot of hurt there because of the accusations. Now, whether or not it's, it, the accusations prove to be true or not, the hurt yeah. is still there and that's regardless. That, okay. And that's going to take you to get over that hurt. You've got to get over the answers of the lie detector. So you've still both got to work at it, whichever way the answers I come know, out. Yeah, OK, know thank you. you're innocent you said before you want him to be you know to, to just say he was sorry is that really going to be enough for you if, you if this has been going on since you came back from that holiday do you think you'll be able to listen to one word of sorry I'm really sorry and that's it put it behind or is it going to crop up in arguments again I told him if when the results come back I am done nothing that's the end of it no more checking up to my face no more accusing me of doing this and doing that can you stick to that though? yeah definitely. okay let's just tell people what the questions are the questions that you wanted asked of Mandy have you had sexual intercourse with any other man uh, other than Philip in the last two and a half years that's something you wanted to know did you have sexual intercourse with Philip's friend the night you arrived home in the early hours that was the other thing right, you yeah. wanted to know okay so what we're going to do is take a quick break when we come back from the break the questions that will be answered are uh, we're asking is Mandy a love cheat has she been sleeping with other men especially this friend you're talking about behind Philip's back the lie detector results are in so don't go away we'll have those after the break just been talking to Philip and Mandy now Philip says that if his long-term lover has cheated then their relationship is over now we've got the lie detector results they are in and uh, let me grab hold of those but let me just explain that the lie detector test is as near to 100% as any test is ever going to be our polygraph analyst Bruce Burgess explains that it can tell us whether or not a guest is telling the truth what it doesn't tell us are the whys, the whats, the wherefores, all the little minutiae of details. This picks up minute signals that you don't even know your body's giving off. Um, and if there are odds with what you're saying, he can ascertain that what you're saying is not the truth. OK, let's, let's open the envelope. What I'm going to ask you to do is move your chairs around and face each other so you can see each other. So just get back a bit so you can both see each other and look at each other. OK, I'm going to read out the questions. I'm going to read out what Mandy said and what the lie detector says. Here we go. Lie detector questions for Mandy. Have you had sexual intercourse with any man other than Philip in the last two and a half years? Mandy answered no. The lie detector said she was telling the <gasps> truth. Another question, and that's, this is the one that you wanted to know. Did you have sexual intercourse with Philip's friend the night you arrived home in the early hours? Again, Mandy said no. The lie detector said she was telling the truth. <laughs> Why are you crying? Why are you crying? 
Do you have anything that you, you want to confess? Anything you want to say? What? what? Hang on. Hang on. Shut up. Just wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do you want to say? Let Mandy speak. What do you want to say, Mandy? Dan Ata was down there. Yeah. You know now, nothing went on. Right. That's all it was. He gave me a peck to right. say thank you for listening to him and talking. I couldn't tell you down the house, because if I said this, there's no way you would have believed me, and there's no way we'd be sitting here today. Does that not concern you, that she couldn't tell you something? Does, yeah. And as innocent as somebody poured their heart out to her, somebody in need, someone who was in pain, she's a, a, a bright enough, compassionate enough woman that she listened to his pain, and as a natural reaction, he gave her a peck on the cheek. And her relationship with you is such that there's so much suspicion, she could not even relate a moment of utter compassion for another human being to you. What does that tell you? It's not trust her at all with, her, with me. And how do you think that would feel, not to be trusted? Get it. Absolutely got it. it. So yeah. maybe you want to say something to Mandy in light of that. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you. I promise you. When we get home, I'm going to make it up. No more. No more arguing. You mean that on national telly? I promise you, but you know. What yes. happens if it does all come up again? I walk. You will. So what's going to happen when you go out in future? I mean, you say you now realise that you both play games. Can I suggest before you go out, you sit down and you lay down some ground rules? Who wants the last word? You? You. No, go on, you. Oh, I love you. Come here. You want the last word still? You just said it. He said it. He said it. Okay, do you want to come and join us in the audience? Maybe you can... I'm going to give you these lie detector questions. I think you should frame them and put them on your wall. There you go. Um, maybe you'd like to come and join us in our audience and maybe you can give some adve uh, advice to our next guests? Yeah, I think yeah, you've learned quite a lot, haven't you? Yeah, okay. If you like to go through that door, we'll find a couple of seats. On, we're going to meet Luke. Now, Luke says he doesn't know where he stands. Julie, I love you. I want to be with you. I want to be a father to your children. I don't care about the affairs. I just want to be with you. But I want to know who do you love, me or Ian? Well, the woman in question is Julie. Now, today she's got to make a decision. Which man is she going to go home to? But first, let's get the bigger picture of what's going on. Please welcome Julie's mate, Jacqueline. <laughs> Jackie, what do you want to say to Julie today? Basically, I wanted to tell her to, well, ask her to sort her life out. She's um, been having an affair for the past eight months. Um, Whoa. Her boyfriend found out. How did her boyfriend find out? Turned up at my house for her when she wasn't there. She was with the other man. So I had to explain to him where she was. You explain, hang on, let's go, whoa, let's go back. Did you know she was having this affair right from the word go? Yeah. So have you been covering for her all this time? Yeah. What, when uh, Luke came round or Luke asked about her, what would you say? Well, she just used to say that she was coming over to see me or we was going out or whatever. And He'd drop her off with? and she'd disappear over to Ian. That's right. So has she finished with Luke then? Um, she's supposed to have done, but he still spends 24 hours a day, seven days a week at the house, looking after the children while she's with the lover. What? Does he know that? Y yes, he knows. Well, he takes her over to see him. And then goes Hang back on. and looks after the children. He takes her in the car, you're saying, over yep. to see her lover? Yeah. So is he still in love with her or what's he going on? He loves her to bits. He thinks the world of her. Um, he can, she can go out and have an affair. As long as she comes home, he'll be there for her. If he wasn't there to be with the children, she wouldn't be able to go out. Oh, I see. So you want to say to her to sort her life out, to what? Pick Make the decision. Who does she want? Mm. Um, Whoever she doesn't want, let them go, let them start a new life somewhere else. Right. Because it's just destroying her life, their lives, and the children's. And you're not going to cover for her anymore? No. Oh, OK. And that's what you want to tell, tell her today. So please welcome Julie. <laughs> Hi, Julie. OK, there you are. You get to tell her. Basically, I brought you here today, Julie, 
I want you to f make the decision of who you really want to be with and get the other one out of your life because you're just, they're just going to be fighting amongst each other all the time and you need to, well, only you can stop it. And you're just making your own life a misery. But I know who I want. Well, then get rid of who you don't want. Ian. You want, so, so hang on, let me get this right. You, Luke is still coming around to your house every day? Yep. Um, he... And are you still having a relationship with him? No, I want Luke as a friend, but he just does not want to accept it. So why did you start up an affair with, with Ian, this Ian? Luke, Luke's hard to understand. He had no affection. He'd call me names, fat, widget, etc. If we walked down the street hand in hand, a bunch of girls would walk up, the hand would be dropped. So why didn't you finish with him then? I tried. He sat in front of the door for hours, crying, saying, oh, you know, I won't do it again, I won't do it again. I gave him a second chance. And uh, now, it, is this right that we heard from Jackie that he drives you round to Ian's house? Yes, he does. By his choice, not mine. I don't ask him to do it. He says he don't want me to get on the train. He just wants me to be happy, and if I'm with Ian and happy, then he'll take me there. And how does Ian feel about the fact that Luke's there every day? He doesn't know he's there as much as he is, but he does hate the fact that I still see Luke. He wants him out of my life for good. And and wait, what, can I ask you where your sleeping arrangements are? I sleep on my Luke lives with his sister now. Oh, he doesn't sleep over no. at your house? Okay. Um, some hands have gone up. This gentleman here, yeah. Um, does, does Luke... Uh, is, is Ian going to look after the kids when Luke goes? And how is Luke going to feel that's, about this? That's a good question. No. Ah, Jackie well, jumped in. Is he going to cause arguments and fights and friction? But I'm interested in that Jackie said no. What, Ian's interested in... Ian thing. wants Julie, not the children. But how do you know until... We... Because he's told his friends <laughs> Julie and his friends because tell me. Because over to his ass every now and then and then shoves you back to Luke, doesn't he, really? So, do, would you, are you sure? He, you're saying he doesn't want the kids as part well, of the Well, why won't he go to Julie's house exactly. to be with her and the children? Yeah. It's always Julie's got to run to him. He will never come over and see her. Uh, how many children do you have? Four. Four? Well, he loves, he if, does love the kids. Luke loves the kids. I know that. What happens if Ian isn't interested in taking on the kids? Then what? Then I say goodbye to Ian. But Luke's made it even harder because he's told them that when Ian comes, he's got to call them a... He's taught the kids to swear at me. He's taught them to play up. So I ring Luke up and say, Luke, can you come up and help me? Because Luke's got more control over the children Hang than on, I Hang on, so your boyfriend of how many years? How long have you been with Luke? Three. Your boyfriend of three years, you're saying, has more control over your children than you? Yes. Where are you? I was always out. <laughs> so we said with Ian. <laughs> All right, OK, let's, let's, let's meet Luke. Let's meet Luke, see what's happening for him. Please welcome Luke. Julia, I love you and I want to be with you. Don't look at me, Joe. I can't help you no more. You know I'm with someone else, Luke. I'm sorry. Yeah, and he's willing to take on your kids, is he? I don't know. You don't know? Well, let's ask him then. Well, he's on the phone. Let's ask him. Hi, Ian. Hi. Um, are you willing to take on the four children? I'd like to give it a go, yeah. So why ain't you seen them then? Why ain't I seen them? Because you're always there. Yo, I'm always there, am I? Why didn't you turn up the other night? Oh, my car's broken, my car's broken. Yeah, which it has. Yeah. Well, what about a train or a bus, mate? Uh, I have a dog as well, which will not travel on public transport. You can't leave because of your dog, you're pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so, um, Ian, let me ask you, while you're on the phone, are you happy with... Luke, you're around there, how often? How often are you around? I go up to see the kids nearly every day. And so you're there all day, every day. And, and you knew this, did you, uh, Ian? No. Ah. Julia's told me nothing about this at all. She's been denying he's been around there. Well, you can talk to him. Go on, you can talk to him. You knew what trouble it caused. I haven't denied he would be around there, Ian, I've told you. You've rung me when I've been in the car with him. Julie, how many times have you told me it's your brother bringing you over here every time to see me? How yeah. many times have you told me Luke picks the kids up and then leaves straight away? Hang on, Ian, you're saying she's been telling you it's her brother bringing you? Indeed. Only because I know what I'd get. Exactly, why? Because why you like don't even work. want me to have mates. You don't want me to no, be mates. No, I'm not having Luke. mates, Julie. I know you're capable of cheating on people. Because oh. I wasn't the first one. What do you mean? Well, there was one, others before me. What, while she was with Luke? 
Yes, indeed. Shut your mouth. <laughs> but hang on, is that true? Let's ask Julie, is that true? At the one time you had, what, three of them on the go? No, no. That's not no. true at all. Do you think she's playing these guys off against each other, Jacqueline? Not deliberately, I don't think she's doing it. Not, not purposely, but she needs to put her foot down and decide who she does want to be with. And if she wants to be with Ian, then she needs to tell Luke to back off and make alternative arrangements for the children. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Bearing in mind you're attracting all these men, I want to know what your secret is, because I can't really see it from here. <laughs> What I'd like to know is, um, if Ian couldn't come over to see your children the other day because there was nobody to look after his dog, how do you think he's going to look after your children? I know. Exactly. My point is that. Thank you very much. OK. That's the point you're making. Yes, what did you want to say? I was just going to ask whether Luke's having a sexual relationship still with this girl. I forgot her name. Are you still sleeping together, Luke? No, we're not. Uh, when did it finish? I'm just a bit nosy, um, aren't you? Four weeks. <laughs> I like to say How this. long ago? Four weeks ago, four me weeks and Luke ago. split up. So... Hang on, you, so you last slept together four weeks ago? Well, before four weeks What does ago. Ian think about that? Ian? Did you hear that? Yep. So you, you knew that the last time they slept together was, what, four or five weeks ago? Well, from the, uh, from, through the whole eight months that she was with Luke, I was actually told that they were not sleeping together there. She hated him and he was only there for the children's benefit. Ian, you knew I slept with Luke. Twice you, you told, told me, me twice to. you told me you slept with him. <laughs> True? So they didn't get he, caught. He told me I had to so we didn't get caught. Luke, sorry? He told me I had to so we didn't get caught. When? <laughs> when did I tell you to go and sleep with him so we didn't get caught? Oh, on many All I occasions, said to you Ian. was that if I was in Luke's shoes, I would start to get suspicious. So how are you know. feeling? How are you feeling about this relationship? Let me go back to one of the questions somebody asked. I think early on, would you take on the children if, if given an opportunity? I'd would like you... to give it a go. Yeah. You'd still like to have a relationship with Julie. Yeah, she's got a wonderful personality beyond belief. I mean, she's... would you trust her? <laughs> no, he wouldn't. Luke, what are the questions you would want an honest answer to, Ian? You might want to join in on this. What, what do you want to know, honestly, from her? Well, I want to know if she wants me or Ian. Can I ask you, Julie, when everybody's screaming girl power from the treetops, why you're so 100% reliant on men? Because at 16 years old, I fell pregnant. And there's always been a man there. You don't know how to function without a man in your life. And here you are in this mess, stuck between two men. How old are you now? Say that again. 24. How old are you now? 24. 24. Plenty of time to learn again. There are people learning things in life at the age of 75. You want to know, let me get this right, Luke, who she wants to be with. Ian, anything you want to find out? Same as Luke, really. I want to know where I stand. OK, so a lie detector test might give you the answers and the truth you need. That's providing Julie knows the answers to that. But whether they give you what happens after that is, is another question. Yeah? OK, yep. you're going to take that lie detector test to give us a starting okay. point, And then we need to talk about, because there's a lot of people whose emotions are getting mangled up here, yours included, but Luke and Ian and the children as well. Yeah? OK, we'll catch up with you a little bit later. I think you're going to go through that door and start this uh, lie detector process underway. <laughs> Julie's now going to take that lie detector test and we're going to have to wait to find out the results. But next, Derek and Roseanne. Now, this couple have been married for eight years but have hardly said two words to each other in the past week. Why? Well, Derek wants to know why his wife is spending their money on looking good. He thinks she must be having an affair. So that's why he wants her to sit the lie detector test. Now, we'll see you in a moment with those two. Today, lie detector love tests. Now, keep watching if you'd like the number to call if you want to prove someone is lying to you. But if you've just tuned in, well, where have you been? This is what you've missed. Did you have sexual intercourse with Philip's friend the night you arrived home in the early hours? Again, Mandy said no. The lie detector said she was telling the truth. <laughs> 
Well, I want to know if she wants me or Ian. Julia's told me nothing about this at all. She's been denying he's been round there. Bearing in mind you're attracting all these men, I want to know what your secret is, because I can't really see it from here. <laughs> My next guest is Derek. Now, Derek's convinced his wife has been cheating on him. You'd think after eight years together they'd have no secrets, but Derek says that he knows his wife is hiding something, and today he wants to know what. Please welcome Derek. <laughs> Derek, um, what are the things that are making you suspicious about what Roseanne's been getting up to? There's been a lot of phone calls. Uh, From who? Well, there's phone numbers on my phone bill that I couldn't have phoned because I was working to a certain person right. that I believe that she's been having an affair with. This is a family member? Yeah, and it was always, they were always in my house and things that they said in my house that i seen, that I heard them say. Things like what? Well, one night I was in the house that like, a certain person said to Roseanne, mm. you're the one that's taking the risk, you're married, I'm not. Did you ask her about what... Not that know? day, like, not that night. I went to my work the next morning, but I couldn't concentrate on work. You still at work? No, I've, I've stopped working. Why? What I, I, couldn't, I couldn't work with all this in my head. This has really yeah. messed you up. Have you noticed her behaving any differently? Yeah, body language is different. Like, has your love life... Yeah. What? Gone, just got worse? Got, it just got worse, yeah. Like, and one day, like she said to me, she didn't want to have it, sleep with her for maybe two or three months for, for no reason. She wasn't comfortable having sex at all so just with, with you just that was the way she felt okay yeah. have you noticed any other things have you come across any uh, buying clothes behind my back what? but i didn't realize what went holiday to lanzarote and those outfits there i, I hadn't seen them before so i was but said now to a, lot, about a it. lot of a lot of wives are going to say that they hide outfits from their husband with their no but we're we're close enough that like, what Roseanne buys, I see all the time, what I buy, we've always been but close that way, But so this is a way, yeah. change in her yeah, behaviour? Yeah, a change in her behaviour. Okay, so what yeah. do you want to say to her today? Just uh, want the truth and try and get, get my life sorted out, like, see if she'll take a lie detector's test. Okay, let me go through to the two options. What if she hasn't been doing anything? Let me ask that. I don't know what the results are. Well, but that's for Roseanne to decide then, because I put her through a lot of... A lot of hell over the last year what, and a half. What, but what about if she has been? I don't know what, you know, let's say I she has been. Then. If she has been, I don't know because I've been through two years of hell. I don't know if I could trust somebody that put me through that. So how long has this been going on? You've been suspicious of her? Two years. Two years? Two years. Okay, well, let's get the two of you talking. Please welcome Roseanne. <laughs> And two years this has been going on. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, so what did you want to what did you want to say to your husband? I, I've never messed about and I never will. I'm not interested in anybody I know, else. I know you've always said that, but I know. have you ever ever, ever admitted to yeah. anything? You yeah. have. Yeah. What did you admit to? Having an affair because Derek more or less pushed me into saying it, and he said he'd go and get help counselling if I said I'd had an affair. So, so hang on, you, you what, told him, wrote to him, what? I wrote him a letter, said I, he said, just admit it and I'll go and get help. And I said, right, OK, it was after about And what did you put in this letter? Details? That I, just, uh-huh. That I, was, I did it, uh-huh. I get more or less pushed into writing a letter because he, he said he knew I had mm. an affair. It had been on for about eight months. So family are, being are. And family are being dragged into this because it's yeah. a family member that you suspect. Yeah. OK, on the phone, um, this is um, Charlotte. This is Derek's mum. Hi. Hi. Charlotte, what do you want to say to Derek and Roseanne? Well, basically, uh, I have watched my son uh, going from a, a really jovial person, uh, kind to everyone, just to someone now that's not working, sits at home all the time, and uh, it's just changed entirely. Roseanne is saying that she said this to get sort of Derek from... Yes, not? Well, <laughs> uh, the, well, the way I would look at that is, um, to me, that's more mental torture. But they have been through mental torture for eight months at this point. Let me just say, let me just uh, explain. If I'm being told it's going to put a stop to it, I'll say anything to put a stop to it. Well, let me just tell Charlotte that your, your son has walked off the stage upset and I'm just going to follow him to see yes, what exactly I, I knew would. was so upsetting. Yes, I knew he would. Hang on, just a, just a moment, Charlotte. So, w was it just hearing your mum? Just the, the whole episode. 
it's all just sort of hit you now. It's always hit me. It's, this is the way I'm at all the time. You know, I just... You cry a lot. I kind of deal with it. OK, so getting this lie detector test done, we'll get you some tissues. Getting this lie detector test done is, is the first step. Um, do you want to come back out? Can you take a deep breath and come no, back I, out? So, I, no, I you want right to stay? You stay here for a second. Let me just... I'm going to go out there, stay here for a second and, and calm down, OK, because I want to read out a statement from Margaret. This is Roseanne's mother, yeah, and I think yeah. it's important that she, she hear that as well. Um, Roseanne, this is your mother, Margaret. She gave us a statement and it said, I think that Derek and Roseanne should separate. Derek has got into his head that Roseanne has cheated on him, but I know she could never do that because she loves him and her family too much. He has put her through a year of hell and the lie detector results are going to prove him wrong. Mm -hmm. She has always been innocent, but I doubt if that will make a difference. Why would she say that? Why would she doubt that? that I really don't know. I, I don't know if... if if I take the test and things don't change, then we will have to finish. But but why do you think things won't change? But because he's had it in his head so long that he's so convinced that I've I've messed about with but people. But why well, have you have you changed? Do you think this has been going on for two it's, years? It's been going round in circles because Derek's been accusing me, and then I've started tidying things. Like if he sees that, he might think such and oh. such bought me, or and it's just going a vicious circle. It. Like, I'll turn away from him like, if I sneeze or something because he keeps saying my eyes are watering like I'm thinking the other people. So now like, if I sneeze... Is that why you're hiding the clothes, for I'll, instance? I've, I've always did that. That's just, he knows I've always did that. If I met him, I buy something stupid, I'll put it away because he'll just I think moan. a lot of women would understand that. Right, you just moan. So I'll put it away and it's not to wait away anybody else. It's, I'm not interested in So you're saying else. because you feel so suspected, you're starting I start to act, act funny. suspiciously? Yeah, I start acting funny because he's making me feel... Why did you say to him you didn't want, feel like having sex for, for a couple of I months? I really, I was, Do you I, remember no, that? It a couple of, I, it was not a couple of months. I didn't want sex with him for a few years. For and a I, few years? And I did shove him away a lot. Why? I sold him. I said, just leave me alone and don't try and touch me. And maybe I'll come on to you. Maybe if I just don't... Because he kept on wanting sex. Like, no, kept maybe once a week. Even that was too much for me. And right. I would just do it to please him. And the more I was doing it, the worse I was getting. So okay. one night it took its toll and I cracked up and I said, don't touch me. So but that's, this is why, so as you said, everything been is being up, We've been split up for about six weeks and now I, I do want to have sex with him. You do? I do. You better tell him. Um, did, did, you, did you hear that, Derek? Did you hear what she just said? No, I never heard that. You, you, you better tell him. <laughs> yeah, you know I went to sleep with you. You know I didn't yeah. at one point and I told you to leave me. Yeah, no touch me. And know, that's when I thought you were having an affair when you say that. And you, the day... Roseanne had said that. Mm. Was, I just started work full time, but the person that I believe that she was jumping about with, his missus had the exact same dates. It was happened to her as well. His missus believed that's he was jumping about as well. That's what hurts me because it takes everybody's word to their mind. So, so let me come to Robert Phipps. He's our body language expert here in the audience, and he's been watching how you're oh, relating right, to each other. <coughs> Let, let's just see, just listen to what signals Robert's picking up. Yeah. You've sat there quite impassive when you've been telling your your story as to what your account of things that have gone mm. on. Mm. As when you've come out, you, obviously because of what he's accusing you of, you're very much on the defensive and you're very nervous. You're moving your body and your arms around mm -hmm. and you don't really know. And I think, from what I can pick up, you're feeding his insecurity right. and he's not doing anything to help himself because you've got this in the back of your mind that yeah, it may have been there and it may, may have been going on. I can't get it out of my mind. It's, it's been there for the last few years. Just can it Look, but the about one idea. thing in this whole wide world that you have total control over is your thoughts. And you can put those thoughts out of your mind and you can think of it in a positive light. When you came back out, you immediately moved your chair in. So that you still want the relationship. Yeah, you does. immediately the, held the hand. Does, does. So if you want the relationship, then you have to be prepared to sacrifice some things. You still think they've got problems? And I think that, that, that there is still going to gonna be this trust issue yeah, from your side of things, yeah. even if it comes back... Absolutely innocent, Thank not been you, doing Rob. anything. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Um, Thank you so much, okay. Yeah. So you're gonna take you're gonna take the lie detector yeah. test. And hope, um, hope it stops. Let, and it. let me ask you, okay, again, Derek, if it comes back that she hasn't been cheating at all, what then? One of the things when I asked Derek this before, Roseanne, he said it, the ball would be in your court. So I've told him I I want to be with him, I just kind of take any merit of this. And what if, and I'm just playing devil's advocate, what if she has cheated? 
I honestly don't know because I feel like I've been through hell for about a year and a half, two years. So you're, you're stuck either yeah, way. But, uh, like, but opposite, I, he's not been through hell. It's, it's, that's it's total but I feel, opposite. you know, that's what I feel okay. inside myself. Okay, you know, but I, let me come back to what Robert said. I, bl I believe with him as well that the lie detector results are, are just the beginning. I think there are a lot deeper issues. Well, you said you were going to get uh, The lie detector well. comes up. Like, I hope the lie detector comes up in more that I'm wrong. I've still got a platform. What plat are you going to do about it? If well, it gives me a help. platform. I've got a platform to build on, then I can, I can put that behind me then. I've got something to start with. I, no, I, I I've got a bit of evidence there. Yes, like, okay, I, can I hope you can. That. You might need that's, a little bit of help my, to do that's that. That's my hope. All right. Well, OK, Roseanne, you're going to go and take the, yeah. the lie detector um, results and we'll, we'll catch up with you later. Right. OK. Okay, well, here's a question for you at home. How many of you have been woken up by your partner because they've had a bad dream in the middle of the night? Yeah? Um, well, my next guest, Bev, wants to know why her lover keeps waking her up with strange noises. Now, she reckons her man is dreaming about other women and uh, she wants to know who and she wants to know why. Please welcome Bev. <laughs> Okay, strange, when, when I, you know, when our researchers and our producers came to me with this one and they said about the strange noises in the night, first thing I said was, and I'll ask you this, because my, my husband has sleep apnea and he, he sort of goes, he goes sort of like... <laughs> <laughs> like that, you know? <laughs> and it freaks you out and it sounds... Is, is that what you mean by strange noises? What is he, he's doing at night? Yes. Well, He's making strange noises. But that's sleep apnea, then? No, the, the problem here, Tricia, is I believe that he's aware of the noises that he's making and that he's not asleep. That is the problem. Why would, why would he be making these noises? Because people um, are incredulous. Yeah, yeah I, I can believe it, because Keith I've be... been laughed at for two years over but it. But why, so... why do you think Keith would be doing this? Um, to keep me insecure. That's been my only conclusion, to keep me insecure. Why, why would he want to be keeping you insecure? Because he's insecure himself. Have you ever cheated or anything like that? Yes, I have, yeah. Oh, what yeah. did you do? What did you do? Um, a man seduced me two years ago in our own home. <laughs> Completely seduced No, no, he kissed me and I pushed him away from me. And then when Keith came home, I told Keith immediately what had happened. Mm. Um, I was crying and I was begging for his forgiveness. I told him that I'd push the other guy in question off. And but from are that you point saying this on, is when the noises started? This is when the noises started. There was no noises before that. So what, what these noises sound like what? Um, to start with, they were intimate noises, like he was having pleasure with <coughs> another woman but led next to me. Whoa! Did yeah. you tell him? Did you wake him? Oh, yeah, him? we've been going through this every morning you for argue, two years. You argue? Shout at each other? Yes, yes. How, how bad terrible. did the arguments get? Um, Five, nearly five times we've split up a nine-year relationship mm. in the last two years. And what's the most extreme action that Keith's taken when you've said this? He just tells me that it's all in my head and that I've got to sort my head out. Didn't he take to the bed with a, a light or something? Um, that was one day when he wanted to caress me and we'd just been arguing and I didn't want him to caress me and I pushed a quilt down between us and I said, look, just... Just keep your distance. We're in the same bed, but keep your distance. Yeah, yeah. And he said, if you want some distance from me, you'll have some distance with a flame. And he set fire to the quilt. And I, <laughs> I led there for as long as I could, and the flames were coming up about this high. And in well, the you, end, you I laid jumped. there as... A yeah, because I wanted, to, I wanted him to burn himself. You, you guys are mean? crazy. I don't well, often say that on this show, but you guys are crazy. Thanks, Trish. No, but I mean, really, I mean, you, <laughs> you know, so... This is all about these noises. When you alert him to this, when you say you're making these noises, what does he say? Um, he'll huff and he'll turn over. Is he saying he, he can't remember it or something? Yes, he is. Well, let's meet the noisy sleeper himself. <laughs> I mean, I know people are laughing, but it's causing a lot it's of causing argument. A lot of, it's causing a lot of strife. A lot of strife. Yeah. Please welcome Keith. <laughs> Okay, um, is it, is it, eh? Keith, oh, everyone's oh, talking yeah. about these noises yeah. and that they started, we heard from Bev, since she did what? Yeah, some bloke tried it on with her, so she tells me, yeah, you know, but that was two years ago and that don't bother me, yeah? The fact of the matter is that she thinks I'll make these noises on purpose to hurt her, yeah? 
right. I don't want you may all laugh. Yeah, I've had laughing when I've gone to see a doctor. He just laugh at me and shrug me off. My mates at work just shrug me off. You know, I just sleep happily and deeply, and I don't wake up from the minute I go to sleep till morning. You know? And then apart in the morning when, you get what? Apart from when Bev will wake me up ten minutes after being asleep with a punch in the back of the head saying I'm making noises. Yeah? <laughs> After kissing her and after the kissing her and cuddling her, ten minutes before, telling her I love her and settling her down to sleep with me, yeah. and then next minute, oh, she so you you, me you out, split yeah? up. You split up about this. We've almost come to we split almost have, about yeah. five times. We and have it's over made you very years. angry. I'm seeing from yeah, your point. Yeah, I'm angry. You know, I'm being you called know. a liar and accused of something that I have no control of. If I had control of it, I would have stopped it two years ago. Why don't you believe yeah? him when he says I that? I treat this woman like a princess, you know what I mean? She's, this is why she's I got everything she out. wants. Yeah, I, yeah, I have. Yeah. I don't deny that. Keith treats me like a princess, and I will say that. He does. OK. So but there is this problem in the bedroom, which nobody else can help us out with, apart from this lie detector test. Let's just tell people what the sort of things you wanted to know. You wanted to ask Keith, are you aware of the noises you make when you're, while you're asleep? You wanted to ask him, are you satisfied with your sex life? Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to have sex with other women is mm -hmm. something uh, you also wanted to know? And do you think of other women while you are in bed with Bev? Those were some of the questions. OK, well, the lie detector results are in. Why is Keith making these strange noises in bed? And what does his uh, body language, what does his body language tell us about this couple? We'll find out after the break. Now, let me remind you about a show that we're planning to record very soon. It's all about cheating partners. Now, do you know who your lover has had an affair with and is it time to confront them? Or perhaps you're the one who's playing the field. Maybe you want to come clean. Or maybe you and the other woman have joined forces and now want answers from the man who's playing you both for fools. And won't that be an interesting one? Um, call us now on 0902 100 101, 0902 100 101, or you can email trisha at itv.com. OK, back to today. Earlier we were talking to, to Bev and Keith. She wanted to know why her lover keeps making these strange noises in his sleep. Uh, I guess the question was, is he having naughty dreams about other women? Well, first, what we wanted to do is to come to Robert Phipps, our body language expert. Um, now, ignore what you saw in the break, because they were smooching like <laughs> goodness knows what. But what are you picking up about their body language? But they were almost smooching right from the start. As soon as Keith came back out, there was a, quite a lingering kiss there, and yeah. the hands met straight away. She was reassuring, squeezing his knee, rubbing his shoulder. Yeah. So there's still lots of affection. As you said, you can't fault the relationship apart from... What about this guilt these, thing? Right. There, is, yeah, there is an element of, of the guilty conscience, mm -hmm. but even if he is making these noises through fantasy, most people fantasise. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Robert. Okay. Um, some people might say that with sleep apnea, one of the things that makes it worse is stress. So if you've had an argument and you stressed him out, is he then going and doing these noises at night? Have you told him what the noises sound like? Yes. Yes. And what do you think when you hear that, Keith? When she, you hear those noises? I'm just breathing, you know, yeah. <laughs> You're just doing your best to get a good just, night's yeah, sleep. Just, yeah. All right, well, let's, we've got the lie detector results, so let's, let's have a look at those. Um, I don't know what's in this envelope, so like with everybody else, I'm going to read out the question that you wanted the answer to, and then I will say what you said and whether the lie detector results say yes or not. The question was, are you aware of the noises you make while you are asleep? Keith answered no. The lie detector said he was lying. Oh. Hang on, let me keep going. Question was, do you want to have sex with other women? Keith answered no. The lie detector said he was telling the truth. The lie detector... Uh, hang on, the question was, uh, do you think of other women while you are in bed with Bev? That's something you wanted to know. Keith said no. Lie detector said he was telling the truth. Um, are you aware this? This are you aware of the noises you make while you're asleep? And you said no, and the lie detector saying you're lying. You no, are aware. That's all I wanted the answer for. Well, obviously I'm aware now, aren't I? Because I've been made well aware, but I'm not aware ah. when I'm asleep, am I? Could be, could be. Hey, and on, there's win. one more bit. There's one win. more bit. Listen, yeah. Are you satisfied with your sex life? I am indeed. Yeah. Yes. What you said. You said yes. The lie detector said he was lying. <laughs> I can un 
understand this bit? Are you aware of the noises you make in your sleep? And you said no, and you were lying, because, as you said, it's been drawing to attention. I haven't been happy with our sex life. Our sex life's been pretty dead for all the times we've been on... <laughs> Because of the argument, you know, yeah. since for the last three months it's been pretty bad because of the argument, yeah. because I've been pushing him away, yeah. because I've felt rejection myself from him yeah. through the noises. Yeah? So how do you feel that it... What that it's just... Well, it's... That You're it's not come shocked? Out. Here you are, have a look. I'm not shocked, Fish, because I know in my heart that he knows he's making the noises. I, I wouldn't have took it this far. I wouldn't have Hang on, but just far. a minute, maybe he knows he's making the noises because he's been made aware of it. It was just because of the way it all started, Tricia. That's why... Guilty conscience. It's the, gu it's the guilty conscience on his behalf and on my behalf. Why well, on my behalf? I haven't done nothing wrong. Yes, but you planted the seed that you were doing something wrong, Keith, yeah, and you can't you... deny that you did. Why? Right. Because, because you did. Because you what did he do? Bev kept I accusing me. You kept accusing me, yeah, and in the end I said, yeah, right, I well did, yeah. Of, and then... of what? You did what? <laughs> You said, I said, have you, you sat with yeah. her? And I've apparently been on it in for so long. He said, well, yeah, I did. So what am I going to think from oh, that, Oh, you Trisha? accused him of sleeping yes, with someone with the, else? Yes, with the partner of the man who seduced after, me. After, yeah, that bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> after Bev had told me about this kissing with this other bloke and that, yeah? So you did it to get her back? Mm -hmm. Well, no, yes. it, yeah, yeah. I only said it, yeah, I didn't and do it, And it's been yeah. going on for two years. So what a long game to be playing. This is, yes. this is all game playing, isn't it? Yes. Um, I just wondered, in the days when he did have satisfying sex, did he make the noises when he was asleep no, afterwards? No. Then? No. He, right. he, they started after our troubles began two years ago. OK. Right. But so yeah. he's only been making the noises. You don't think he might just be a bit frustrated or something? <laughs> is it about your love life? I mean, if your love life was... The, the, the couple, putting together the fact that you say your love life's going downhill, do you are you then taking more notice of these noises because you think quite he's possibly yeah he's, he's possibly. thinking about other women because he's not For doing quite it with well, me. Well, have you turned me away, didn't you? Yeah? Because I thought that you were rejecting me by what you were doing. By making noises. Yeah. Yes. You can't. Yes. Who has? Yes. Mm. What are you going to say? Um, if you had satisfying sex, perhaps you'd sleep through his noises. Ah, yes. Thank you. That's <laughs> a good point. She does. So, what are you she going to say, Robert? Well, she does. You still make the noises even after you've had good sex? Or is it something that is triggered no, when they're No, he doesn't. He goes to sleep then. Ah. There's your answer. It seems to me like the problem started off um, because you beat yourself up probably more than Keith did. Mm -hmm. um, and so you decided that you needed to be punished. Mm -hmm. And maybe he didn't react in the way you thought he did. Sometimes we actually expect our partners to react even more, I don't know, be more in a state about it. And if we don't do that, we top up the punishment. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If they sentence you to two years, you, don't, you think, that doesn't make me feel better. I'll give myself five. So you work yourself into a frenzy and you, le you, know, you believe all sorts of things. I'm telling you, I'll lay money on it. It's sleep apnea that he's got. When he has exercise, be it sexual or otherwise, he sleeps more deeply. Mm -hmm. He's less likely to, to have the sleep apnea. So you two need to sort out this, this whole love thing. You rejecting this game. Who's going to break the circle? Mm, it's got to be broken today, definitely. Yeah. So who's going to break today. it? Who's going who's gonna... to... Well, do you I'm, forgive I'm... yourself? Yes. Yes, I do. Yeah. I forgave myself a long time ago. Okay. Do you accept I don't make noises on purpose? I'm going to have to if our relationship's going to carry on, Keith, aren't I? I'm yeah, just going right, to... Yeah. 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 OK, good luck. May you get a good night's sleep. <laughs> now, if you'd like someone you know to take a lie detector test, um, here's our lie detector hotline. It's 0900 2100 103, 0900 2100 103, or you can email trisha at itv.com. Um, it might be because you suspect a partner of cheating, or perhaps you'd like to ask your lover if they're really happy with your sex life. I suspect you know deep down. 0900 2100 103, email, email, sorry, email trisha at itv.com. OK, you're going to have to wait until tomorrow for Julie and Roseanne's results. Question was, have you had sexual intercourse with Luke since you and Ian have been a couple? Uh, the question was, do you want a future with Luke? She said no. The lie detector said, the question was, do you want a future with Ian? And you answered, yes. And the lie detector said, the question was, and these are the ones you wanted asking, have you had sexual intercourse with another man other than Derek in the last five years? Yeah. Roseanne said no. The lie detector results said... 
Until next time, take care, and we're going to hand over to the guys at this morning. Bye-bye.